today, even though these lights are very bright, and I can't see more than halfway, but I do know that we've got some lovers of fairy stories in here. <laughs> in fact, there might be a few fairies here, there, you know. And have you realised that Cinderella this year is 104 years old? Just a little, I mean, you've probably never given it a thought. 104. And I know it's true because Cinderella was sat on the porch of her house the other week, <laughs> looking every day of the 104 years. And all of a sudden, as she sat there, there was a puff of smoke. <laughs> Near enough. <laughs> and a woman appeared. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and she said to Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. And Cinderella said, and about fucking time too. <laughs> She said, what's the matter, Cinder? She said, all these fucking years you've left me here, she said. Look at the state of me. I've got lines on me face like Clapham Junction. <laughs> and my lovely blonde hair has turned grey and streaky. She said, oh, she said, I'm a fucking mess. She said, my poor old pussycat sat on my lap here. He's, a, he's about the same age. She said, grey round the gills. He's ready to pop his clogs. And now you appear. She said, well, Cinder, I've come to give you three wishes. So she said, what would you like for your first wish? So Cinderella said, well, that's it, isn't it? That's what I want. Make me young and beautiful again. So she waved her wand and all the lines fell out of Cinderella's face. And the grey hair turned to gold once more. She looked absolutely fabulous. And she said, what would you like for your second wish, Cinderella? She said, well, now I've got the looks. I'd like to be wealthy. I've got to have some money. You can't do anything without a few bob these days. So she waved her wand again, and the rocking chair turned to solid gold. And there was a pile of gold coins next to Cinderella. And she said, now, Cinders, think very carefully before you have your third wish. She said, well, I don't have to give it much of a thought, she said, because now I've got the looks, I've got the money, I'd like a man to share the rest of my life with. And she said, as a special favour, my poor old pussycat there, he's been so faithful to me. Could you turn him into a handsome prince? And she waved her wand and the cat stood up until it got to six foot tall. Muscles rippling, the most handsome looking geezer Cinders had ever seen. And as he walked towards her, she could feel the blood coursing through her veins. <laughs> her nipples stood out, <laughs> like cupboards on a Welsh dresser. <laughs> And his lips touched her cheek as he whispered in her ear. And he said, I'll bet you're sorry you had my bollocks cut off all those years ago. <laughs> <laughs>